After going through hundreds of ideas, I carefully selected only four of what I believe to be the best ways to make over $10,000 per month. This is the type of money that used to only be reserved for, you know, doctors, lawyers, engineers, people with a lot of education and credentials. But folks, I'm here to tell you, times are changing forever. I discovered this shop on Etsy called Caitlyn Minimalist. She sells a lot of custom jewelry, including her most popular item, which is this personalized name necklace. Now, I did some quick math just using her total number of sales, which is over 2 million, and how long the shop's been open, which has been since 2014. And what I discovered by dividing the total number of sales by how long her shop's been open is that she's averaging about 694 sales per day. And because the average price of an item in her shop is around $20, we can estimate that she's making about $13,800. $180 per day. And we can even be conservative with these numbers and say that she's making $10,000 per day. This means every month this shop is making $300,000. Now, I know you're probably thinking, yeah, Joshua, but what's the point? It's not like I have the skills or tools to create custom jewelry to then go and sell on Etsy. But I actually discovered a way to do this that doesn't require you to have any skills or tools. And you can even start doing it with basically $0. Now, let's hone in for a second to this specific product right here that the shop is selling, which happens to be their most popular item. This is a personalized name necklace. It comes in sterling silver, 18 karat gold, uh, rose gold, and several different lengths. And basically what you can do is you can just put your name in this field right here, and this shop will create and ship you a necklace just like this, a gold name necklace. Now on the surface, this seems like it would be something completely out of your league, right? Like how could you possibly create such a professional looking necklace? Well, Caitlin Minimalist, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but you're about to have a lot more competition. Now, she's selling these necklaces regular price at $42, right? They're on sale right now, but the regular price is $42. Now, what I'm going to do is head over to one of my favorite websites, which is AliExpress. If you're not familiar with AliExpress, it's basically a popular website that a lot of e-commerce websites use to buy super discounted products that they can then resell at large marked up prices on their own stores. And so if I were to go and type in something like um, customize name necklace, there will be a lot of different options that pop up. And so this one right here is currently on sale for 99 cents, but even after the welcome deal ends, it's still only $4.70. And so basically, as you can see, there are a ton of different fonts with a PH to choose from, uh, some even closely replicating the font from the Etsy shop. Coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. But basically, every time someone orders a necklace from your Etsy shop, you're just simply heading over to AliExpress, finding a seller that you like who creates custom jewelry to create that piece of jewelry for you. And even after paying the full price of $4.70 for this custom piece of jewelry, plus the shipping, which you'll wanna go with the, uh, the slightly more expensive option to get the faster shipping, but even after the product itself, plus the shipping, you're only paying $7.96. And if you're selling the product for $42 on Etsy, Etsy, you're still making a $34.04 profit per necklace. And even if you were selling the necklace cheaper, let's just say that you were selling it at $29.40, you'd still be making a $21.44 profit per sale. And so just imagine for a second that you were doing even a fraction of the sales that this shop is doing, right? She's doing about 700 sales per day. But just imagine for a second that you were only doing 50 sales per day. Well, with a $21.44 profit, you'd still be making over $1,000 per day, which would be over $30,000 per month. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and pretend like all this will be easy, right? It will take some time to set up your Etsy shop, find the right seller on AliExpress, create your product listings, and start getting sales. But what I do know is that once you can get past that initial hurdle of starting and just doing the research, this is truly a business that could change your life forever. When I first started my channel in 2021, I knew that the potential to make life-changing money with YouTube was more than possible. I had already spent years watching other YouTubers talk about how much money they were making with their channels. And and I just knew for a fact that if they could do it, I could do it too. And I did do it. Last year, I earned a little over $600,000 from YouTube. And for this year, I'm currently on track to earning well over one to $2 million. I'll be the first to admit it, right? YouTube is not easy. It's not easy spending, you know, several hours working on a video for it to only get 10 views. I've been there. I know what that feels like. But the thing about YouTube that you have to understand is that YouTube is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Learning how to create good titles and thumbnails that get people to actually click onto your videos 
takes time. This is a skill that you have to learn and cultivate over many months and possibly even years. Learning how to create engaging content that people actually want to stick around and watch also takes time. You're not just going to get on YouTube and in one week start making some of the best content the platform has ever seen. But with all that being said, there are some very practical things that you can start doing almost immediately to start seeing results much faster. And there are basically three things that you need to focus on. Production quality, how you're packaging your ideas, and your niche. Let's start backwards and talk about your niche, okay? So I don't care what anybody else tells you about this because you'll hear people saying that picking a niche is not that important and you shouldn't have to worry about it at the very beginning, but this is the furthest thing from the truth. Think of it this way, okay? Let's just say, for example, that you're watching TV and you wanna watch uh, sports-related content. What channel would you go to to watch sports-related content, like sports news and things like that? Well, you would probably go to ESPN since that channel only talks about sports things, right? Like you wouldn't go to Cartoon Network to watch sports content, just like you wouldn't go to ESPN to watch cartoons. And if you wanted to watch sports-related content and you flip the channel to ESPN and they were playing cartoons, you would be extremely confused and you would change the channel. And the exact same thing is true with YouTube. If you don't establish yourself in a specific niche, nobody is going to subscribe to you because they don't know what to expect from you. Imagine for a second that I started randomly making like cooking content. A video of mine randomly gets recommended to you titled, here's how to cook an egg sunny side up. I guarantee you that video would massively underperform on my channel because that's not why you guys subscribe to me and so you're probably not going to want to watch the video. And then after you pick your niche, you really need to learn how to package your ideas. What exactly do I mean by this? Well, Veritasium actually does a phenomenal job of explaining what I mean by this in his video, Clickbait is Unreasonably Effective. Here's a quick look. Last year, I made a video about asteroids, which I thought was really good. I called it Asteroids, Earth's Biggest Threat. But the performance was well below average. In its first day, Asteroids was ranked ninth out of my previous 10 videos. So I tried different titles and thumbnails like Asteroid Impact, What Are Our Chances? Or Asteroid Impact, What Could We Do? But none of these changes got much traction. And then on day three after launch, I changed the title and thumbnail to These Are the Asteroids to Worry About. And immediately, the video started doing better. It quickly shot up from almost my worst performing video to my best. It now has 14 million views. Nothing about the video changed, just that one image and 38 characters. And then finally, production quality, right? Having a decent camera, decent lighting, a uh, good sounding microphone are all essential parts of increasing the production quality for your videos. And something else that you may have noticed that I recently started doing was adding high quality music into the background of my videos. I recognized that when I was watching other people's videos and they were using some type of background music, it helped to make the content a lot more engaging, which means YouTube pushes those videos out more, which means they get more views. And so I began using music in my videos as well. Now, a lot of you have been asking me where exactly do I get my music from? And the primary place that I get it is from a website called Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound has an endless catalog of music. In fact, they've got over 30,000 professionally produced songs in a variety of genres and over 90,000 different sound effects. And the thing that I love the most about Epidemic is this right here, which is the find similar button next to every song. For example, I like to use like a lot of trap style hip hop songs in the background of my videos. And so if there's one song specific specifically that I like, I can just click right here on the find similar button to see what other songs there are that might have that same sort of vibe. And I've literally used this feature to find hundreds of songs for my videos. And if you click on the discover tab, Epidemic will also recommend songs that you can use based on your specific YouTube channel. And this really helps, especially if you like to use the same genre of music in your videos, but you don't wanna have to keep using the same exact song over and over again. Now, the best part is that if you use my link down in the description below, you'll get a free one month trial to Epidemic sound. And any of the music or sound effects that you use during your free trial will remain safe and protected, even if you cancel your subscription after your trial is over. So if you want high quality, original music and sound effects for your videos, be sure to click on my Epidemic Sound link down below in the description to get started completely free. So I've talked in great detail about print on demand businesses on my channel. In fact, I'm currently producing a six part video series where I'm starting my own print on demand business from scratch and attempting to turn it into a six figure business. And the first video in that series can be found on my channel and I'll also leave a link for it down below. Now, I'm specifically starting a t-shirt print-on-demand business. However, the print-on-demand business model spans much, much further than just t-shirts. For example, this seller here on Etsy, Planner Kate one has done close to 2 million sales selling stickers and organization products like printable planners and checklists. Her shop has been open since 2014 or about roughly 2,950 days. And if we divide the about 2 million total sales
sales with the number of days the shop's been open, we can estimate that this shop is getting about 678 sales per day. And with the average cost of her products around $5, $5 times 678 sales per day equals about $3,390 in sales per day. This means per month, this shop is earning a little over $100,000. And this is by selling printable calendars and printable planners, both of which are digital products and can be sold an infinite number of times. And the stickers that she's selling are also easy to produce. She's likely just drop shipping the stickers with some type of print on demand service such as Printify. You see, Printify will print, manufacture, and ship the stickers for you. The only thing that you have to do is just come up with the designs of the stickers. If I go to Printify and then click on catalog, you'll see an option under home and living for stickers and magnets. And then if I go to stickers and start designing, you'll see just how easy it is to do this. And basically the route that I would take if I were you is I would basically start off and just create stickers for every major holiday. And to help me stay organized, I created this list here on Google Docs, which you can feel free to copy for yourself. But basically just creating stickers for every major holiday. And then maybe you move on and you create stickers for every major sport. And then just kind of start freestyling and coming up with random sticker ideas using this shop right here as inspiration. For example, she's got stickers for so many random things, right? Toothpaste stickers, uh, yoga mat stickers, slipper stickers, money bag stickers. I mean, the ideas just go on and on. And you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, but Joshua, who on earth is gonna wanna buy slipper stickers or shovel stickers? Well, I don't know. How about you ask the almost 2 million people who have bought stickers from this shop? There is a massive, massive market for this, folks. And this Etsy shop that I just showed you has already proven that it works. It's no secret that nowadays, short form content is one of the most popular ways to consume content. And this new way of consuming content has opened up a lot of different money-making opportunities. And not just for the platforms like YouTube and TikTok, and not even for the creators on those platforms, but for the people creating the short form content for the creators. And this is where you come in. You'd be surprised to learn that a lot of creators will pay you really good money to create short videos for them several times per week. And to get started, all you're doing is just going to YouTube and finding content creators who make consistent content, going to their about tab on YouTube, finding their email, and sending them a cold email explaining to them what value you can provide for them and at what price. And folks, here's the thing. You're just using the same exact email template, making really small tweaks to the email to make it a little bit more personal for each creator. And you're sending dozens, possibly hundreds of these emails every day. And the more emails that you can send, the better. Because remember, this is all just a numbers game. Let's say, for example, that you send 100 emails, right? And out of those 100 emails, you get 10 responses. And then out of the 10 people who responded to you, only three of them actually end up hiring you to edit their short form content for them. And so now, hypothetically, you know that if you send 100 emails that on average, you should get about three new clients. I've reached out to many of these short form content agencies to ask what they're charging per short, and the price ranges between $25 per video to about $16 per video, depending on how many videos they're creating for you each month. But what I've seen on average is they're charging anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000 per month to create 60 short videos for you. And so let's just say, for example, that you had three clients all paying you between $1,500 and $2,000 per month. Well, with just three clients alone, you're already earning between $4,500 and $6,000 per month. I mean, just imagine for a second how quickly you can scale this business up if you're just constantly sending emails and getting new business. Now, I know that creating 60 short videos for just one creator sounds like a lot. And to be honest with you, at the very beginning, it will be because you're still learning. You're still having to find ways to increase how quickly you can produce these shorts in the least amount of time possible. Now, one thing I should mention is that most of the creators that you'll end up working with will already have pre-existing long form content on their YouTube channel. And so all you're doing is just taking small micro snippets from all this long form content and you're producing dozens of this micro 30 to 60 second content that the creator can then take and redistribute onto other platforms. And folks, make no mistake about it because this business is going to continue getting bigger and bigger. And the craziest part about all of this and the one thing that I don't see anybody else talking about is the fact that YouTube is about to revolutionize the short form content industry, which in turn will mean that more short content is gonna be created, which means more money for you. You see, short form content is already becoming increasingly popular, but it's extremely difficult to make money as it currently stands. But as YouTube prepares to roll out their new monetization policy that allows creators to earn money from the ads placed between videos, something that TikTok or no other platform is currently doing. And so I personally believe that a lot more people are gonna start making short form content because there will be a much larger incentive to do so. And because of this, there's gonna be an even higher demand for short form editors. And so what are you waiting for? Hey, you guys are all amazing and 
I appreciate every single one of you watching this video. I mean that, and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.